I'm Madam Justa, teacher in grade one. I'm going to take you through English lesson and we are going to deal with a substrate on time. Welcome to our lesson for today. Okay, today we are going to study about time. And in time, we are going to deal about time is how we deal with activities of our day. In it, and every day, it's divided with time. And for us to know how to lead our time, we are going to use uh, something that we call wall crop. That's what we are going to use today on our lesson, on how to study time using our wall crop. And when we have that, a work clock looks like this. You may have a circular work clock, or you may have which one is other shapes, but today we are going to deal with a work clock like this. And then when we have a work clock, it, has, it indicates numbers, and the numbers that are written in a work clock, it starts from number 1 to number 12. So you may have 12 here, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then you know, when you have these numbers, these numbers are the ones that are going to tell you about time. And these numbers, when you lead them, they are going to indicate to you what time and the minutes in each how. So what we are going to do is that we are going to have arrows there. In a crop we have two arrows. We have two arrows. We have one which is a short arrow and another which is a long arrow. The short arrow shows the hour which is called heat, hour heart. And the long one is indicates the minute heart. So when you look at the clock, you may see that it has got two handles. One is very long and the other one is very short. The one which is very long, it indicates the minute heart. That tells you the, the minute in that hour. And the one which is very short, it indicates how, which we call it our heart. So we have one each, the one is the first one which we have said that is minute heart. We can say it is long heart, long, long heart. And the other, the one which is short, we can say it is short. So when you are looking at the clock, this is how we start. We start by looking the time, how we tell time. For example, when you are asked what the time, you can have your clock like this, and then it has got the we have said that we have to indicate, we have to indicate the numbers. Four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, and 11. For example, that we have our time here, we have our long heart, which is pointing at 12, and the short heart is pointing at 3. So we get to know that, first of all, what to, because we want to tell the time, what is the time, first of all, what you are going to do is that you look at the short heart, which is pointing at 3, and then you write 3. When you write 3 followed by 2 dots, you look at the long heart, which is pointing at 12, and remember that when it is pointing at 12, it is always 0, 0. So you are going to write your 2 dots, you have written your 2 dots, then followed by 2 zeros which indicates that the time is 3 o'clock and this is how we write o'clock 3 o'clock like this now the time here tells us, the, our clock tells us the time is 3 o'clock 
o'clock. Another example is that, example three again we have, when we have a clock like this, we have always, we say that we have numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And remember that when you are when we are looking at the time, we don't start from this on your left hand side, we start from the right side, which we look at the clock, we call it clockwise. We go clockwise from number one all the way to number twelve. For example, it is our clock here, we get our long heart is at twelve and our short heart is at nine. What can you say the time is? For example, when you ask what is the time here, what is the time? What you are going to do that we have said that first of all what you do is we look at the short heart, the short heart hour. We say that the short heart hour, the short heart hour indicates the hour. So what you do here is that you look at your short heart hour which is pointing at 9, you say your time is going to be 9. And when you look at your long heart hour, it's pointing at 12, and we say that when we say it is at 12, it indicates that 0, 0. It indicates your two zeros there. And then the time is going to be 9 o'clock. Remember to light o'clock, zip there, and then Put comma, then light for clock. For an example, another example three and example four, we are going to look at I wake, I wake up at six o'clock. Six o'clock. How can you draw your time, your clock? It's how you draw it. You first draw a circle and twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we decade, we have been told I wake up at six o'clock. At what time do you wake up? We have said it is six. So our short heart is going to be at six. And then the long one is going to be at twelve. That indicates the time that you wake up. Remember that when you are, when you are looking at time telling time, always remember to start with the short heart hour and followed by the dots are then followed by the long hard hour. The long hard minute, we shows the minutes. Learners at the end of our lesson today about time. So you can practice using your work clock at home or even your watches. You can be tell, you can look and tell time. Any time that you have your watch, you can look and tell the time using the steps that we have used to tell time. Thank you.